In this video, we will continue with the general term of a GP. You will find this on page 51 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Which is the first term in this sequence to be less than 0 0.04? If it does not state whether it's an AP or a GP, then you must test first to decide which is is okay so if you subtract you will see this is bigger than if you subtract this so definitely it's not an ap so you do it you divide and if you divide you will see okay then then this will be a half and this will also be a half so it's a gp then i start with the the formula less can you see less if you're reading from this side and i start substituting and now just remember, and this is very important. So, I want now to, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, it's better. Okay, if I, I, I to get, I can either use the previous method and make the basis the same, or I can use logs. So, if you can still not remember logs, first go back to ordinary level and revise logs. Because logs also will bring this exponent almost like to the ground, or it will be on this level. Okay, so basically, I'm, I'm putting logs on both sides. That's what I did. I take logs on both sides. Then, I follow that rule. So, I, it's coming to the front. Can you remember your rules? It is the power law of logarithms. So basically, this exponent just goes in front. And can you see it's now on the same level, as I said, on the ground? Okay. Now, the best will be to first check what is this log 0 0.5. So if you press log 0 0.5 on your calculator, you will get negative 0 0.301. So it's a negative. And can you remember linear inequalities? As soon as you divide by a negative, what must happen? The sign must swap around. Okay, because you are dividing by a negative. So basically then, I just simplify this and then I just bring that one over and it's 12.6. But now, correct to three significant. So the 13th term is the first term to be less than 0 0.04. So in this case, 12 will still not be. So, but if you go to the 13th one, then it will be less than 0 0.04. But I think if you struggle a little bit, just quickly press it in and just see if it's less than 0 0.04. So you can do a test. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number B. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number B. Which is the first term in the sequence this to be less than 0 0.01? Okay, so first let's write down the sequence. Five, six, one point zero zero. Okay. Now, I'm asking you which is the first term to. So first, first, let's just let's get all. What is the value of a? Five nine zero four nine. What is the value of r? It's now you can test actually. So divide, divide. So first test to see if it's a GP. But it's a GP because you will get a third and a third. So you will say T2 by T1 will be that 19683 divide 59049 and that will give you that third. Okay, now we can start. So which is the first to be less than 0 0.01? So basically... Don't forget, what is your general term of a GP? That's your general term. So, if I'm going to substitute, I can even, if I want, you can even write it here first. Now, I think as soon as you, as soon as you put that in, 
already start filling in the details. So in the place of A, it's going to be 59049. And in the place of R, it's that third. And now it's N minus 1. And it's 0 0.01. Okay, so before you bring this exponent down, this must be isolated. So basically, I must first go and divide by 59049 on both sides. It's a positive, so the sign don't swap. Now, now I'm, and, and leave it like that. Just moving this. Moving it a little bit up. So now I'm sitting with 1 over 3 n minus 1, and just leave this. And now I go and I take logs on both sides. Okay, did you see that? And now, as soon as I was taking logs on both sides, now I can bring that down. So basically, I'm going to say now, n minus 1, log one third log 0 0.01 divide 5 9 okay now this is very important you must first go and press this on a calculator now if you press this on a calculator you will get that log one third is equal to negative 0. 47712 ta ta ta. Okay, but it's a negative. That's that's all that you are interested in. Because as soon as you divide, because I'm going to now divide by log a third. And I want to divide by log a third. I'm just as soon as you divide, you must swap the sign. So that's why I want to prefer that we write it in the next step. So I divide, I divide, so I'm ending up with n minus 1, and now it's swap. Do you see? And I divide log 0 0.01 59049 divide log a third. Okay. And now, don't press it on your calculator. Otherwise, you're going to approximate. And now, finally, I can go and say, so... And, and then I add one. So I'm going to say n is bigger, and I do this, and I add one. Oh, four, nine. Plus that one. And n will be bigger, and now I'm getting on my calculator 15.19. 1.918, so if I approximate that, n is bigger than 15 point, so, so what will be the first one that's bigger, the whole number? So the first number that's bigger will be 60. So n will be equal in, okay, I think it's better that you do it like this. Can I just show you? So I'd rather say, therefore, the 16th term is the first term to be less than 0 0.01. Okay, and that's how you do it. So always, always be careful. Make sure that you see if the sign was swap or not swap. If you divide by a positive, sign stays the same. As soon as you divide by a negative, linear inequalities, the sign must swap around.